focus on is to want to quickly take it through the pipeline parameters that we need to set for execute pipeline as well as um, for the tumbling window. So we'll just quickly see for the um, pipeline as to what I have configured um, so that we can look at as to how are the two ways that we can pass the values for the execute pipeline as well as the tumbling window. So this is a uh, small pipeline that I've created, which actually is an activity to uh, delete the files if um, the parameter just passes value as true, or it has um, the value, so let's say delete files with the value as false, which is the default value just passed from the parameter from the pipeline. So if it's true, it goes and deletes from the event blobs. I just made it to just get some metadata from the blob. Okay. Um, so as you can see, I have just configured this delete files parameter with the default value as false, and uh, uh, I've also passed the value of the pipeline or the parameter of the pipeline in the delete files. Uh, in the expression for the activity. Uh, so when that equates to true as it's a boolean um, or false, based on that you'll have either of one activated. Um, so we have also created a trigger which is a tumbling window trigger. So it's uh, runs on every 15 minutes and it's dependent on itself, uh, meaning whenever it's successful or not. Um, once it's completed, this will be triggered. Um, so if you want to control uh, the concurrency, then uh, you should be given the only one. In this case, it just kept it for this purpose, so just kept it the default one. So here I've given us 15 minutes offset, which will be like the last 15 minutes. It will consider as the offset. The size is the default size and 15 minute size, whatever corresponds to it. Um, so that's what happens in the tumbling window okay so when you publish it so you need to keep the default value that's correspond to the parameter this is where the tumbling window takes into account the parameter so the value or the pipeline parameter that you set for the pipeline in this case delete pipeline will be taken as the default one for the trigger um, and be passed within it right so if we just quickly go to the trigger portion if you go into the code, we can see that it's, it's being passed as a parameter, right? So um, here you can use the value uh, that gets passed between um, the calling pipeline and uh, the one that is getting invoked. So once this gets invoked, then you can actually easily uh, make the call, right? Otherwise, uh, without the tumbling window, if you want to execute uh, just using execute pipeline, that's also a, another way in which you can do it. Um, so, you just have to pass the parameter within uh, the main one. Main one. And then uh, have uh, an execute pipeline which will uh, be called within that pipeline and, and have it pass as a parameter here. So once that gets passed, then you can actually see that it will be used as a value and the parameters will be passed for the calling pipeline. So this way we will be able to use the both um, the tumbling window and the execute pipeline activity to pass the parameters for the pipeline.